colour is amazing, right? Whoa! Oh my god. The main idea behind this car is that it's like a supercar for all terrain. So you can drive it off road. Look how massive the, um, oh, the, the re wheels are, yeah, right? So okay. they're 22 inch and then look how thick the tires are. So this is actually the same kind of tire you would have on your G-Wagon. Oh, okay. You know, these are the tail lights. So indicator, uh, brake light and reverse light. Okay. We've got the F1 brake light here, which is kind of cool. Peep in through here, Ibrahim. Yeah, I can see your hand. Even yeah. your hand, we can shake so, under. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Open sesame. So it has little wings on the roof. That's kind of cool, right? Oh my god. Here's the deal with the top kind of winglets. Getting into a supercar is never easy. You have to seriously like duck and kind of maneuver your way in, right? Yeah. With this, you, it gives you so much height that you don't have to duck. So yeah. you can get in easier. And then these ones, if you press this button here, this will actually close it and open it. So it's got five, about 540 horsepower, a range of 350 kilometers. I still have no clue what this is. No, you haven't seen it. I've only just seen it now. Backwards? We'll go back, yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh look at that! Oh my gosh! Isn't that mad? Look See, at this. I... Look at what we're seeing. This one moment. Exactly in the spec that I got that. Wow. And then look at what happens with the helmet. Come here guys. So when you've got this on, this connects into here. You see? So that wow. the oxygen and the and the water is fed to you as you're racing. And then do you have a like a push to drink button yeah, somewhere? Yeah, over here. This one's for drinking. That one over there. And obviously the oxygen, like you have to keep that going the whole time. You can't just like this one button to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got the canopy down, yeah. you've obviously got to breathe somehow, right? So they thought, well, why not feed the oxygen in through the helmet? That's pretty and cool. And then you've got the tank here. You see here just behind yeah. the, that's the tank. This is a slot for your iPhone that then goes in the center of the wheel in the center of the steering wheel yeah yeah this That's is wild. how it should be this yeah. is how it should be right that I way mean, you can watch supercar blondie videos while you're driving of course this is quite cool look how it opens up on both sides here of the of the cabin so this goes all the way down to the back there and on this side the same thing the batteries on this car are just here in this center cabin all the way down and these kind of air tunnels on the side, they're there for aerodynamics, but also to cool the batteries. This tail fin here will light up. This is gonna be a, a display so that you can put your name, your team's name on it. You can put your a fastest lap time on the back, whatever you want, really. X is from its racing days. Now come check this out. Right here. You have little iPhones that come out. And this is actually your lap timer. So you can check how fast you go around the racetrack. This right here, you've got leather straps and that's from the old days where racing cars needed them to hold down the hood. Now come check this out. I love these rims. You got fiberglass on top here and all of these holes. It's quite a unique design. Now the back, look at this beauty. Isn't this gorgeous with these L-shaped lights? 
and all this carbon fiber. Look at it, it's everywhere. Wow. All right, no doors. <laughs> this is called a bone switch and you turn this on and look at this. How cool is that? So that starts flashing red, green, and yellow. This is actually the gear selector. And then this here, this lever, this is to go up a gear and down a gear. All right. Oh, that's easy, easy. Much easier than a lot of other concept cars I've been in. Oh man. What you can see here is they've totally divided the driver's side. So you see this big divider here coming down the middle to the passenger side. does something that you've never seen a car do before. Watch what happens. Boom. Now you have an elongated version of the same car. That's crazy. So now what you can do is you can fit in a whole extra battery pack. Their idea is they would have these little platforms, Renault platforms around the city where you just drive onto the platform. In a matter of seconds, your battery pack will be placed into the car and off you go again, which gives you more power and extra range. It goes from 400 kilometer range to 700 kilometer range. This whole part has extended out, which gives you more leg room for the passengers, backseat passengers, and now you can fit in two more suitcases in the back. This is a car from Renault, as you can see here, and it's actually called Morphous. See how they have this really bright yellow color here? They've done that on purpose because that's the way you can see that this car actually moves. If everything was in silver or black, you would never notice that the tail end moves at all. Same with this thing here. This comes out and then disappears when the back end moves in. They actually have a ruler here on top of the car that shows you just how much it's extended by. This front section extends by 25 centimeters and then the back extends by another 15 centimeters. How you get into this car, it has facial recognition. That's this, this bit right here. And then it also has gesture control to open up the door. So you just got to do this. We'll open up the back because this is quite cool. They're using this kind of graphic art again here inside. If you look at the floor from this direction, my direction, you've got a black floor and then you go around the other way and you've got a completely yellow floor. On top, they're actually made of recycled yogurt cups. Look what happens to the front passenger seat. It's now facing the back passengers. So the wood kind of like sucks your phone into the car, which is quite cool. I've never seen that happen before either. So what happens is it recognizes your phone and then this whole front panel opens up. So you can either have it in this very discreet kind of form with nothing there or this. you've got multiple screens in front of you. Now this actually connects to your calendar and your agenda in your phone and it then knows exactly what you're doing that day. This is the steering wheel. It looks kind of cool. It's got these little lights, kind of Star Trek lights. Everything can be controlled on the steering wheel. You've got nothing else here other than your phone and that's it, just an accelerator and a brake pedal. Okay, off we go. The floor's a bit squeaky because we're in a design studio. But we're heading outside now.
go. Let's have a look at what we've got. Mm -hmm. Now, you won't see this steering wheel in a racing car in the 70s. Look at this. Look how tiny it is. And this is really cool. This kind of like, draw, this it draws you in all the way down here to your little screen here at the front. And then you've got this big screen here all the way across the front dash. They've got the picture of the track here, Laguna Seca track, because in 75, they won. And that was the first year that they actually took the CSL over into the US market to race. This fire extinguisher here would push the extinguishing component straight through into the engine in front of you. And you just do that with the switch here. And this one here is the power kill switch. So you've got those kind of racing elements to the car as well. You've got the helmets here in the back. All right, and I think everyone just wants to hear what it sounds like, right? Because we do. The exhaust is on that side. Ready, ready, ready. A concept car with 500 horsepower. How's it look? Look cool. This is the Mercedes Maybach Vision 6 Cabriolet. So why is it called the Vision 6? See look, 6 here. Because this car is actually 6 meters long. That is a really, really long car. Cabriolet here on the back convertible you see the back here it kind of looks like a yacht they wanted that kind of feeling like this kind of very relaxed stately feel you've got the classic Maybach uh, front grille here with the pinstripes this is meant to remind you of like a pinstripe suit and then you've got these beautiful like cat eyes here on either side look we open the door here with this little button that comes out and then in the interior here, you've got all of these rose gold accents. And look at how you've got these little Mercedes badges here on the seat and they all light up. That's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's a two seater. It's meant to be driven. It's not the kind of Maybach that uh, you get chauffeured in. Inside is like quite high tech with all of the lights here running through the center console. It's like pumping the energy through the center of the car here all the way back. And then this is all going to be a screen all the way along here, all the way through to the front, showing you what's happening out in front of you. You know, you can also interact with the car as well. It has a virtual concierge. Fictional stats, they're looking at four electric motors um, providing about 750 horsepower, zero to 100 in under four seconds. And the range would be just over 200 miles. You're never going to look at a Citroen the same way again, I promise. All right. Come around here. Look at this car. Never seen this before. Wow. I go back to wing.
This sounds nothing like you're expecting, okay? Really, really, really freaking cool. All right, open. I've kind of got this like butterfly door. And then I'm gonna get in. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so what stands out first is obviously the copper here, the copper detail inside. You've got these kill switches here. So that's what actually turns off the engine. And this up here is what you've got to press to put it in first gear, right? So it's like a little safety feature. We've got our racing seat belts because this car was made to race. Clutch, brake, and these ones up. Okay, okay. and then both. Then both of them. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. It's here. You can bet. Reach it. Alright. Oh. oh my god! Alright guys, so we're gonna turn it and put it in first gear right now. I'm gonna press the safety button and the first gear. And That's here it. we are. That's yeah. it. Look, first gear shows up here. Alright. And that's it, and off we go. Okay. Now this is something special, you guys. This is the Bugatti Atlantic, the secret Bugatti that was never made. Take a look at this. You got butterfly doors, and then look at what happens in the back. Look at this. Look, you've got special Bugatti suitcases here in the back. Imagine walking around with this baby. And then this one as well. I don't want to put it on the floor because it's a bit wet, but you see how it rolls here? It's a fully rollable suitcase. What they've done is for the first time, they've moved the engine, right? So in a Chiron and Veyron, you have a mid-engine car, which basically means the engine is here behind the front seats. In this one, they've moved the engine to the front. Now you've got this long nose here to fit the engine. And this would actually have a different engine to the Chiron or the Veyron. This would have a twin turbo V8. But the interesting thing is, is that the whole drivetrain is replaceable so that you can choose between a twin turbo V8 or a fully electric Bugatti Atlantic. Take a look inside, look at this. It's a massive door, but actually half of the roof opens up as well. So you can easily slide in and out of the car. We're gonna get, oh, you know what? I'll get in now. Why not? Why not? This is my first little sit in this incredible car. All right, look here it says Atlantic. This is a pretty standard Bugatti uh, steering wheel. You see something very similar in the Chiron with the engine start button here. Chassis number one. Oh, man, if this came to be, wow, we'd see this on the roads, that's awesome. Look at this very, very thin center console here as well. That looks freaking cool. How it's all open up underneath here. Look at this. 
It's see-through with a little Bugatti logo in there. That's a really nice design feature. Guys, what? Have you ever seen anything like that before in your life? Look at all of these individual kind of, um, I suppose, hairs. They could be described as hairs or scales. It becomes a creature, right? It's almost like when you pat a cat, it kind of responds with its back arched and its, and its hairs like stand on end. That is what's happening right now. It's become its own creature. When you're in driving mode, these will all kind of face down like this and the lights will be blue. But then as soon as you brake, you just see what happened then. It kind of acts as an air brake that all kind of goes up against the, the, the airflow and it turns red. And then when you're going around corners, it will kind of move with the vehicle. So all of this, look at this, look at this. That's crazy. What happens is the faster you go, the faster the lights start moving along this panel here at the back. There is a charging mode too. If we do the charging mode, see? Yep, when the yep. car charges, it yep. looks like uh, the energy goes in. Right. Indicators the, on the see? wheel. Indicators. I've never seen that turn, before. Turn indicators. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. All these materials are vegan. This entire interior is made out of non-animal products. When you put your hand here on the car, it responds to your hand. Look at that. And look, it starts recognizing your heartbeat. It will actually pulsate with you. And it will project onto your hand, scan your veins and your heart and know exactly which person is sitting in in this, I suppose you call it the driver's seat, but it's not really <laughs> there's no like traditional functions here there's no steering wheel there's no kind of like display right in front of you telling you all of the stats etc so it pops out and then now you can actually control the car with this you just turn it right you turn the wheel with this you see that and then you can actually move this car wait this is the crazy bit guys this car moves sideways so all the wheels will face one direction and kind of it will kind of creep along like a crab. In every single piece of this car, in the way that it moves, the way that it feels, the way that it looks, it is a creature. All right. Okay. Side view. <laughs> that might give you a hint. Holy. Ah, oh, this is the first time I'm seeing it in real life, you guys. Oh, wow, what? Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Oh. oh my god you guys oh my god we gotta get this thing off the truck so you can see what I see this is madness oh my god what holy moly I'm glad I wore my fancy shoes for this shoot Although nothing can upstage this car. Oh, oh! Look at that Y line on the back. 
Holy mackerel! Is this not the coolest car you've ever seen? So this is the Lambo V12 Vision Gran Turismo. I love these tail lights. Isn't that fantastic? With the Y Lamborghini line. It's just so prominent. It takes up the whole back wing. I love that. And then what I also love, you've got these hexagonal exhaust tips here, but what I love is this whole pipe runs all the way through and you can see that into what is a naturally aspirated V12. So you see this right here? This stands for super capacitor. So this drive train is based on the Sian. So it has the same drive train as that car. These fenders here, you see how they're separated from the body and this is floating. That is awesome. Love, love, love. And as you can see, it's a one seater. So the driver's straight in the middle there. And what is also super cool, like he just has a, like there's just a head. <laughs> he doesn't have a body. It's just a head. And then that head is looking at this really cool digital display. Everything's being projected onto this like glass section here in the middle. You've got the special racing suspension. This is so freaking insane, isn't it? You can see all the way through the side of the car here. And then you've got this super low front lip all that made out of carbon fiber and this actually opens like a jet fighter so the whole canopy opens which is super cool and you've got the petrol that goes in here the benzina you've got these beautiful rose gold accents here and on the wheel don't you just love this this is beautiful 